Hello, this is Kanako Ishiyama, and this is my very first animation analysis. And when I started doing this, this was not what I expected to start with, but when I heard the news about this, I knew I had to do my own analysis of it. Anyway, the um, what I'm, what I'm going to be doing is... About a week ago, a trailer was released on the official Yu-Gi-Oh! US YouTube page, YouTube channel, that announced a new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie coming out next year. And there is, it's just a teaser trailer. It doesn't show us a lot, but it already looks like it's going to be... Um, it just looks like it's going to be amazing. Anyway, I will now include the video to let you see what I'm talking about in case you haven't heard about it yet. Okay, as you... Oh, I was trying to stop the thing here. Okay, as you... Oh, as you saw there, that was the trailer for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, which, as you probably saw, was called The Dark Side of Dimensions. And... As I said... Um, as I said, it doesn't give us a lot to go on, but there are things... There are a few things that I do feel the need to discuss. One is that the first is that you saw at the beginning that it includes um, includes Yugi and Kaiba. Looks like they're dueling, but the first thing you might notice is that it actually is Yugi dueling Kaiba instead of his alter ego. So to me that uh, that has me wondering is Yugi actually going to be dueling against Kaiba for an entire duel in this movie? Cuz to me and that would be a very interesting twist because and I'm probably know I'm going to get a lot of hate messages for this but I actually like Yugi a lot more than than the Pharaoh, Yami, whatever you want to call him. And I actually feel he is a very underrated character. <laughs> Probably because he doesn't really get to do much of anything during the series. <laughs> and even in the movie Bonds Beyond Time, he didn't really do all that much. He was just there to... Spoiler alert, see his grandfather die, and then once the duel begins, begins Yami takes over as always, and that's the end of his role in the film. <laughs> so, again, if that is what they are going to do with this, that would be very interesting. And it also has me wondering when this film takes place in the timeline of the original series. Does it take place during the run of the series, like Pyramid of Light, or does it take place after the end of the original series? Only time will tell on that, so 
we'll move on from that topic for now. And the other thing I want to discuss, it's a very small detail, but the when you see when we see Yugi and Kaiba, Kaiba dueling, they have some kind of device on their head that kind of looks like it looks like it goes around their ear like it's a headphone mic, an earphone mic. But what does the part on the top of the head do? <laughs> so that is an that's also interesting and has something I'm curious about. And we also have another thing that makes me wonder if it's going to be just Yugi is we see the back of Yugi walking into the room where he's going to be dueling Kaiba, we we assume. But we don't since we only see his back, we don't know if it's the Yugi or if it's the Pharaoh. <laughs> The jacket cape indicates it probably is the pharaoh, but we still don't know for sure, so that's all up in the air, and anyway, um, and as you saw, we also have the, the entire main cast from the original film returning for this. We have Joey and Taya and Bakura and Tristan. And, um, did I miss anybody there? If I did, sorry. Anyway, um, that's my take on this, and I hope if you have any theories or opinions of your own, feel free to share them in the comment section below, and I will also include... Well, I will also, if you wish, I could include a link to the original trailer so you can see it for yourself in full screen. So, until then, this is Kinako Ishiyama signing off. Thank you, bye-bye.